I don't rightly know if we're gonna make it through this one. Okay, you guys, today is the day. We are painting our old kitchen cabinets. We're gonna do it, we're gonna get through it happily. Like I said, I don't think we're gonna make it through it. So I'm trying to direct a video and she's trying to just get it done, so it's clashing 100%. We're on time. Mamaw's got the kids for a certain amount of time. I'm seeing it play out as all the bottom's gonna get done, then I'll be doing the tops during the night once the kids go to bed. That's the way I see it happening, because it's gonna take four hours on the bottom, just prep, getting them ready and everything. It's not gonna take four hours to degloss white and start painting. Sounds good on paper. It does. Are you ready? I guess. First and foremost, we got to clear out the kitchen. All the decorations, all this stuff, we're gonna move it in that living room in there. First and foremost, what needs to happen while you're getting all this stuff down, I'm gonna tear this painter's tape off and I'm gonna go through and label every one of these doors in their position, one, two, three, four, well, five, six, seven, eight, nine, cool. ten. Because the drill holes on this door may not match up with this and it'll make a crooked door, so I'm gonna make sure every single door goes where it's actually at right now. Basically, all I'm gonna do is take this painter's tape and I'm gonna write one, one. This will be door one, position one. Door two, position two, and so on all the way through the kitchen. The LED lights, should we take them down? Lord, no, we ain't painting the tops of the cabinets. <laughs> you really want to paint the top of something you ain't never going to see in your entire life? Um, I would, if it was me. I want you to comment right now if you would paint the very tops of your cabinet, which no living human being's ever going to see unless they climb no. No. up on a counter they shouldn't be climbing on. Sean, you're the reason why we're not going to get through this today. As you can see, I've got all the cabinets labeled, which when I put these things back up after they're painted, as long as we leave this on this door, we'll know exactly that this cabinet goes in this position. There's going to be no Sean, guesswork. Sean, get this down. Now it's time to take the cabinet doors off. Five foot three. Can you reach up there? I can't. I've seen somebody do a faux butcher block countertop and my mind's going a, a possibility. Are you really married together for 13 years if you don't cuss each other out Here. a little bit through this process? Hell! Uh, you stacked two me. Or you're just trying to grab too many. You could have grabbed like two. You know what's funny about that though, y'all? Having our moments has made us build very successful things together. Boy, you tried to take me out on camera, y'all seen it. Y'all didn't see that. You need to find you a scraper, too. No, I mean, Dave, you're the tool guy. It's up by the grill. You're up by the grill, you can go get it, because that means it can be anywhere. That's all candle tarts. Look at this. Let me remind you guys, he's hmm. bought half of those. Oh my goodness, what is under here? There's just some gloves. There's just some weather stripping. What if we found some money in here? That'd be wild. Oh look, there's the old flooring. That's wild. You can tell we've never had that drawer out. Good night. Oh my goodness. But that's crazy. I've never seen the original floor. Oh, you talk about retro 60s, 70s. That's definitely retro. So we bought this house off of her sister still lives down the holler. So I think I'm gonna take these to her. Let her have them. I would definitely want them if you know the new owners of my sister's house found these good memories all right y'all first step is officially done all cabinet doors have been removed that's on to step two now it's time to start deglossing these cabinets the brand we're using is right here it's Heirloom Traditions all in one deglosser. We're also using their paint. The color is Bone. This is not a paint sponsorship. We bought this with their own money and giving it a whirl. Now, she said to use when she done it in the tutorial video, just those cheap 99 cent uh, throwaway brushes, but 
we don't have any of them we've got tons of brushes I'm just going to use this one okay change my mind I'm going to use this one this is actually more like the bristles on those cheaper brushes that you throw away this will probably be great for painting these cabinets as y'all can tell that is just it's liquid chemicals basically you're just going to put it on and start working it around with the brush don't forget to do your sides because you're going to be painting the edge of the edges of these cabinets you'll start feeling I don't know what you a little pressure a little sludge coming up you'll start feeling it you'll know that it's working I don't know this is just therapeutic for me I love it I don't see anything about how long it needs to set on there but right here on the side where this is running down yeah I'm already seeing stain come off and then you're just going to take you a cloth and you're going to start wiping boom there you go Well, she's got that little side started and around the oven, so I guess it's time for me to start my part. Kind of is it? It'd just be like screw off or something. I'm sitting here tearing my fingers up getting this off. First coat always looks a little rough, but I think it's looking pretty good, but one thing I know for sure, it blends with everything else, so we're probably going to have to, we definitely going to have to change the walls. Yo, know, I have moved cameras and lights in this video probably about 500 times. This house just isn't bright. Is it break time yet? I wish. All right, we got the first coat done on the lower half. We ain't started on the upper because like I said previously, we may have to do the upper tonight when the kids are here. This spot has two coats on it. A few little light spots here and there. One more coat may do it. Not real sure if it will or not. See what it's talking about the studio lights. But now keep in mind you guys, it's going to be an overwhelming, overwhelming amount of white. We are going in the next few days to get our paint for the walls and new knobs so that will give some dimension and here's what i'm thinking about doing i seen someone had done a faux butcher block countertop we might do it because we're wanting to change countertops anyway because we're not a fan of this one so i don't see what it would really hurt to do it i may try it I may end up getting killed in the process, not real sure. Oh, All right, I am taking a break. I am getting me something to drink, and then we're going to get back to this second coat. Well, here we are on coat number two. It's starting to look a little solid, but that's got three on it. And this has got three on it. I don't know if you can tell. There's just a few little dark spots, but like the little areas of the cabinet, I think three coats will cover that it's just these bigger spaces are going to need four i hate that light i gotta say at this present moment i'm not a fan i know you don't like wait don't judge i said at the present moment until we get our color of knobs and hinges our walls painted color yes color and not only that no neutrals we are changing the countertops eventually as well. No neutrals. It's I want these white countertops gone. Well, I said I was thinking about doing the full countertop. I've got all that done, but she still got every one of these hey, doors and drawers to paint. Hold on. This deglosser you have to put on, let it set for one minute. That's every, and then you have to scrub it with a pad and then wipe it off. So it takes forever. It's about as longer than paint. 
Do, do you want to know the color? He said, I said an orange, orange or a yellow or something, a kitchen color. All I know is like I started this adventure because I hate white. Like if you even looked at our website before we took it down, there was no white shirts. There's like one or two. I hate white. I'm not a fan of the color white on walls and stuff like that. I feel like I'm in a sane asylum. I think we might be getting close to the finish line, at least on the bottom part. And that is looking smooth. I like those rollers. They're Worcester rollers. Uh, big green. Even spray like finish. I don't know if you can tell, but that definitely looks like it's been sprayed on there. Probably would have been a smart thing if we emptied these drawers. I mean, like, I just got everything out and I started painting the cabinet. Some things kind of have to be left up to you. Well, is what it is. It does kind of look a little ridiculous there. Well, yeah, it does. What? <laughs> the stuff in the drawers and you're sitting here painting them. You know what, Sean? I'm cutting. I'm making it work. I guess. I know we better hurry because I'd say there's a memo getting tired. And we have been at this since 1030 this morning and it is now... A little after five. Got the doors, got the first coat on them. Still got to do the second coat on. And this is just the doors for the bottom half so we can get the kids back to the house. That definitely changed the kitchen, but I am ready to see some contrast color added in as well. It is like 7.30. It's still an absolute disaster. We've been at this like nine hours now. We still got a whole nother pile of doors to do. And Mamaw's tars, and she's ready for us to come get the babies, but I see chaos if they was to walk in this house. This L.A. that got the power it normally does. Me and Sean, me and Sean both, our hands are giving out, and I'm painting a little bit, and then he's going back and doing it. It's but a lot of work. It's definitely coming together. It's looking pretty good now. I like to talk about... Uh, this for a second though what are you doing with that uh shout out to campbell's like a little sponsorship here my no i'm joking i said that's what we paint in our drawers she's door putting door. the doors on top of that and we're painting away you're a nerd Ugh, i'm a tired tired nerd this has been the longest day ever the things i do for this woman y'all and I ain't even done yet. We did it together. Oh, you laughing now. We're on hour 15, nonstop. And I am done. I am exiting stage right. I'm going in there and there's a bed that's calling my name and I'm going to crawl in it. <laughs> We're tired, you guys. I'm super tired. We'll but finish this tomorrow. We'll finish this tomorrow and when it's all done, give you another update the babies are home in the bed now so we gotta try to do the rest of the cabinet tops tomorrow speak up with the babies home so we'll see how that goes oh and we didn't even touch this one Ugh. we forgot about it the light was kind of sitting here in front of it and then i was doing one of the doors and i was like oh man we tried to do this right Looks sprayed on. It really does that. And we're really thinking about the faux butcher box countertop. We're gonna show y'all how to do one on the cheap that looks pretty cool. We're really, really thinking about it. All right, y'all. Second day, we didn't film nothing. We kind of got into a fight or flight mode because we got two toddlers and exposed cabinets. So we just got it in, got it done. But I tell you what. Once we add some color and maybe this butcher block countertop, mm, this kitchen's going to change completely. I'm so excited, you guys. Wait till you see, crap. Wait till you guys see this. Listen, what we thought was going to be a 10, 12 hour job turned into 30. 30. And his mom, nah, kept, him, take. His mom kept him the first day. But she had something to do the second day, so we had to do it with the kids here, and it was just like tedious and chaos. Megan, on the second day, she did the painting of the cabinet doors, and then when she was done, I went in and screwed them all up that evening. What are you, uh, hey, Daddy, he's over here vlogging. He's are you vlogging, buddy? Okay. Are you, you trying to vlog? Do you like, do you like the kitchen? The kitchen. 
Now, tell him our dilemma this morning. No. You guys, his new favorite thing is to pop the lenses out of his glasses. We have been able to track them down for the last three months, but I cannot find the left one now. I have pulled couches up. I've looked in vents. I don't know what he's done. So Mama's probably going to have to call the eye doctor and pay for another pair of glasses. What are you doing, Moo Moo? That's right, Fred. Huh? Don't you ready for a Yes. What? Oh my goodness. You can talk. Why You're are you talking silly. that way? Do you like the kitchen? I like the kitchen. What color is so it? What color mommy painted? It? White. It's white? Is it pretty? Do you like it better than the brown? You like it? You like the orange. She did like the orange. Do you want your bedroom orange? Okay. Yes. Oh, no. you no, Daddy. I want pink. pink. I you want pink? She, anything pink, you guys, that she sees in this house is immediately claimed as hers. Even if it's like my socks or my hairbrush, that's pink. Oh, for me. What about her coming out with your bloomers on her head that day and saying they're mine? Anything that's pink is immediately hers. So you want a candy bar? I want candy bar. You want candy bar? What out of this kitchen? Oh, 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 Lord, I've run over okay. Colton. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I, I've made him mad. <laughs> Did I run over you? Daddy, daddy. Daddy's trying to show him the kitchen. Daddy, say sorry. There it is, y'all. No, it daddy actually looks sorry. good. Mommy, and I believe when we do the butcher block. That might help him see a little better. But, yeah, I'm so happy. Turn that off. It's, it yeah, it's flashing. Everybody thinks that's the ceiling fan doing it. It's not. It's, it's just that light. You love it? Yes, yes. Yes, you do. I tell you. But it definitely opens the kitchen up. Like, so much more. Sean's mom came in yesterday, and she's like, wow, the kitchen actually looks bigger. I didn't put all of our stuff back up here yet, because we're going this weekend to get the paint for the walls. I just wanted to throw a thing or two up there to see if it would look right. And I love it. I'm so happy with it. The walls will be the next thing. I'm gonna do a little experiment, just see how it turns out. Cause I mean, this countertop's gotta be replaced anyway. Why not just experiment? It might turn out good. Walls first, but hey, this is the way I'm looking at it. We totally updated our kitchen for $200 rather than 18,000. Total win. Can we, wait, 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 wait. Can we tell them like the future, future plans for the kitchen? Well, not yet, one thing at a time. This wall right here, one day will not exist and there'll be an island somewhere. And this will actually become our dining room and kitchen part. You gonna like that? Have a big kitchen and dining room? What I was saying is we thought we were gonna to have to go to Lowe's and get paint and knobs. For some, these knobs are 50 years old, but let me tell you, they actually mesh with the color of these cabinets and the brick and everything, so we're keeping them. I mean, why not? We just saved ourselves probably $120 between the hinges yeah. and the knobs. They look good. They look good. Are you wanting to be on camera? Hey, where is your glass lens? But guys, if you got cabinets that's kind of outdated and you want to do them yourself, like, it can be done. It won't cost a lot. The good thing about it, it's paint. You can cover it up. I mean, for these cabinets to be 50 year old, they're stouter than cabinets I've seen that's 10 years old that's come yeah. from Lowe's. So, I mean, they, they was built right. They was built back in the day when they built things to last. The, Don't be afraid. Try it. Yeah. Now, I was petrified to paint the cabinets. I'm not going to lie. I've done a lot of painting furniture and stuff, but the cabinets were so dark you all. It ended up taking us five coats on each side. Five. It ended up, we're still, it's early. We're still in our breakfast close to Uncle Lucas, but we wanted to get this video done and show you guys. We do have a chip already i think that was before that, the paint had cured completely and that was from sean when he was putting the knobs back on so we'll keep you guys updated on this brand it was heirloom traditions all in one paint we'll keep you updated on how it's holding up because i've seen a lot of comments of people like 
I've been dying to do it myself. I've got the paint, but I haven't took the jump yet. So we'll keep you updated, let you know how it holds up. So far, so good. I have already wiped some fingerprints and stuff off of the drawers for me and the kids. So. But guys, we're going to end it here. Oh, got more Missy. work to do. Please Chloe's about to bump her head playing ring around the daddy. Guys, we love y'all. And until the next time, stay positive. Stay country. Stay country. Chloe. I love you. Stay on the boots. I love you. Bye.